Hello, everyone. I'm glad you're here. The United States of America needs to brace for war. If you don't want to take my word for it, then please listen to this. A top U.S. intelligence official on Tuesday warned that with no clear end in sight, the Ukraine-Russia war could grow even more volatile in the next several months. Putin is believed to be prepared for a prolonged conflict In Ukraine, Director of National Intelligence Avril Haines said during a hearing before the Senate Armed Service Committee. This was on Tuesday, May 10th. If you are not ready, if you are not braced, then you will be caught off guard. In this article, it is said that the Americans need to be ready for attacks. Now, these may not be nuclear missiles pointed our way coming at us at full speed, although they might. What most people think is going to happen is there will be so much chaos, so much food shortage, and also cyber attacks. These are things that are not something we are used to, nor are they things that most Americans are even aware of, except you are, because you're listening. I am, because I'm trying to find out what's going on. You've heard the phrase, keep your head on a swivel. There's a reason for that. Be alert to what's going on in the world. You don't need to be worried or fearful, but you can respond accordingly. What grid are you part of? When it says cyber attacks... A lot of people believe that will be either on our banking system or on our grid. Be aware of what's happening in your bank. Are you able to make large withdrawals if you wanted to? There are some banks and there are some people saying out there that they go to make a large withdrawal and the bank will not let them have their money. Be aware of that in your area. Is that happening at your bank? You need to be able to get your cash. And if you haven't gotten it already, you need to have some cash in your possession just in case things get a little crazy. Now then, when it comes to other things of cybersecurity, your grid, clearly you need to be aware of what grid are you on. There are three national grids in the United States. If you're a person that's in Texas right now, yes, Texas has its own grid. But it is not all of Texas that is on that grid. Be aware of that. Some people in the panhandle are not on ERCOT. What grid are you on? Where do you get your electricity from? Be aware of that. That's a little piece of information. Sometimes you get to the point where information is the best way you can prepare for what's coming. And I will try to bring you good information here. If the grid goes down, are you ready to be able to navigate that? Do you have your preps in order? Food, water, medication, a way to stay cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Are you ready for that? This is the time to get ready for the winter, gang. The winter is what's brutal. In the summer, you actually, in some places, most places, can go outside and get in some shade and get cool. Cool enough. Get a little kiddie pool and fill it with water and go sit in it. You can do that. But in the winter, it is brutal. Many places you absolutely have no way to get warm. This is the time to buy your all-weather sleeping bags, your battery-run hand warmers, coats, and hats. Get your kerosene heaters, your propane heaters. Believe me, when people start waking up in America and finding out things are not going to go back to way to normal the way they used to be, Those things, these items will not be readily available. Get ahead of everyone else. 
think winter. If you have a fireplace, this is the time to start gathering wood. You will be glad you have it come January. Obviously, you need your shelf-stable foods. You need your water. But there are other things to think about. Gather information as you can also. And each day, just do one thing to prepare. I am waiting for my garden to get ready. I'm planting it. Obviously, it's not up. It's not producing yet. But I can still buy potatoes at my grocery store, and they're not all that expensive. $6 for 15 pounds. You can go ahead and pressure cook your potatoes right now. Buy them at the store and can them. Pressure cook them. Get them on your shelf. If you don't want to pressure cook them, go buy cans of of potatoes and tomatoes. Buy canned goods as much as you can right now. With the prices going up the way they are, it's a good investment. Because a month from now, it's going to have gone up 30%. Don't quote me on that. It may have go go less. It may go more. I really don't know. But I know it's going up. It's not going down. And you know it too. That's all I have for you today. Stay prepared. Stay close to God. This is Gina Lima Charlie. I'm out.